Hi, and welcome to Digital Spies Terminator Dark Fate Ending Explained. As you can imagine, there's gonna be tons of spoilers in this, so if you haven't seen Terminator Dark Fate yet, go watch our spoiler-free review instead and see the movie. I'll be back. If you like what you see, give us a like and subscribe to our channel below for more digital spy content. All right, I'm Gabriella, and here we go. So Terminator Dark Fate, we should get this out of the way, is actually a really good movie. You should definitely go see it. I assume since you're here, you already have. Uh, so we're gonna pick up at the beginning. Uh, we are in Guatemala in 1998 and Sarah Connor and her son John are hanging out by the beach when lo and behold, T-800 Mark III comes walking out of the water and guns down John Connor. Hasta la vista, baby. It's the big shock that Linda Hamilton said was going to absolutely ruin us and it did. So that's where we start off with. And then we jump to present day, I think it's actually 2020 and uh, Grace is dropped out of the sky into Mexico City, and she's there to protect a young woman named Danny Ramos. And Danny Ramos is effectively the kind of Sarah Connor of Terminator Dark Fate. And of course, a Terminator from the future has been sent back to kill her. This is the new Terminator, Rev-9, played by Gabriel Luna, and his singular goal is to terminate Danny. Obviously hijinks ensue, fights ensue, and just when it seems like there's no hope left, out of the blue comes Sarah Connor. Totally ass kicking, totally badass, takes out Rev-9 for the time being, and they make their escape. So the rest of the movie kind of follows this pattern with Rev-9 hunting down Sarah, Grace, and Danny. And we follow them as they try and get from Mexico City back into the United States. So on their way to the United States, we get Danny, Grace, and Sarah all kind of talking about how they've gotten here to this point in time. And one of the most interesting bits is that Grace is actually an augmented human from the future who was nearly fatally wounded in battle against the machines. And she volunteers herself to be augmented into a kind of cyborg. So she's got these like Terminator-like abilities, but she still has a human heart, metaphorically speaking. She actually has a, an EMP kind of core inside of her that's keeping her alive, which becomes very important later on. They decide that they have to go to a location that is mysteriously tattooed on Grace's abdomen. And it also happens to be the same location that's sending Sarah Connor mysterious text messages with coordinates for where new Terminators are going to arrive from the future. So clearly Judgment Day hasn't been prevented, it's just been postponed. They follow the coordinates and find a cabin in the woods. Outside is a van and it says something like, Carl's Drapery Services. And inside Carl turns out to be T-800. Shock, awe, I know. So it turns out that after T-800 Mark III uh, completed his mission and killed John Connor, he just stuck around, hung out, found a wife and a kid, uh, apparently a very nice platonic relationship, and T-800 develops human qualities, compassion, a conscience, a sense of family, and so he decides that he's gonna help these women out. And he's the one who's actually been sending Sarah Connor these locations because he felt that she needed a purpose in life, especially after the death of her son at his hands, but you know, we're gonna gloss over that. Chill out, dickwad. So together, our band of merry Terminator killers uh, decide that the only way that they can kill the Rev-9 is with an EMP. So armed with the information that the only way to kill Rev-9 is with an EMP device, they go through the process of trying to get their hands on one. There's a lot of extended action scenes in jet planes with Humvees falling into dams. It's crazy. I loved it. Uh, and eventually they realize that the only EMP device they have left is the core in Grace that's keeping her alive. Part of the reason that Grace sacrifices herself to protect Danny is not just that Danny, as the kind of Sarah Connor of the new day, might give birth to the leader of the resistance. The kind of big reveal is that Danny is actually going to be the leader of the resistance against the machines. So this is really super important. Grace is sacrificing her life to protect this woman, not only because she's going to become the leader of the resistance, but also because when Grace was a little girl, Danny was the one who rescued her during the kind of apocalyptic machine war. So they have a real deep bond that Grace feels very, very intimately. And of course, Danny has no idea it's coming. Now she does though. So they go up against Rev-9 with T-800 on their side. He's a little bit older, not obsolete. And in the final battle, as Danny jams the EMP into Rev-9, 
T-800 holds him down so that he can't get up and fight back. And as the electromagnetic pulse kind of ravages his system, it creeps its way into T-800 and fries him too. And the final glimpse that he has is of Sarah Connor and Danny Ramos standing up on the edge and then it goes dark. <laughs> The final moments show Danny and Sarah together on a kind of average suburban street in America, and they're standing outside a playground watching the kids in the park. And they hear a young family call out to their daughter, Grace, and the little girl comes toward them, and it is none other than the little girl, Grace, who will grow up to be Mackenzie Davis, who's sent back from the future to protect Danny. Classic Terminator time travel. So, what does this all mean for the future of the Terminator franchise? Essentially, kind of like Terminator 2 Judgment Day, this leaves a lot open. Um, essentially, Judgment Day still is not averted totally, it's just postponed. Uh, Skynet, which in Dark Fate is actually called Legion, uh, is still up and running and it's still going to take over the world and kill all the people with its machines. So now, Danny is fully equipped, she knows what she has to do, and she just kind of has to wait. But it does mean that there is going to be a point where Judgment Day happens, and that's probably the movie we're gonna get next, fingers crossed, where Sarah, Danny, and uh, grown-up Grace, played by Mackenzie Davis, hopefully back again, will take on the machines uh, and galvanize humanity to stand up for themselves. Uh, will T-800 be back? You never know. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is indestructible. That's what everyone calls me, yes. That's it from me. Hope that all made sense. If there was something you think we left out, feel free to comment and let us know. And if you like what you saw, give us a like and subscribe to our channel below. Thanks very much.